Hi, my name is Chloe and I'm a canine behaviourist and training advisor here at Battersea. Today I'm going to give you some advice on preparing your dog for the arrival of a baby. Preparing to welcome a new baby is an incredibly exciting time for new parents. There's so much to think about and if you're a dog owner it's important to factor in changes that will affect them as part of the planning. We've put together a list of things to think about which you can find on our pet advice section of our website or using the link in the description. The key to preparing your dog for the arrival of a new baby is to start as early as possible and introduce changes and in any new routines or behaviours gradually over time. Step 1. Go over the basics. You may not have done basic training with your dog since they were a puppy. If that's the case, a quick refresher on all the foundation behaviours is a good place to start. Things like making sure your dog responds to you quickly and easily when you ask them to sit, wait or walk beside you without pulling on the lead are all really important life skills that will make life easier for you with your dog and your new baby. If you need some reminders or haven't done any of this training with your dog before, take a look at the pet advice section of the Battersea website or our YouTube channel for help. Step two, make any changes at home in advance. Your dog might be used to having access to every room in the house as well as lots of attention from you. If this is likely to change when one room becomes a nursery, it's best to do this slowly and gradually. For example, if you're beginning to set up your nursery, then start keeping that door shut. If your dog is used to spending lots of time in this room, it's important you create alternative cosy areas in different places and occasionally hide some tasty treats in these new places for them to find. You can also try our advice on teaching your dog a bed cue or a settle to get them used to using these new places. If your dog is used to following you around, you will probably want to reduce this before the baby arrives. To do this, try dropping a few treats on their bed, make sure they've seen, and then go into the nursery by yourself. Close the door and come straight back out. Repeat this lots of times until your dog gets bored of your new game and is no longer bothered. You can then gradually start to increase the amount of time you spend in the nursery over the next few days and weeks. Step three, getting them used to the pram. There are two elements to a pram that you will need to give your dog a chance to get used to. The first one is getting them used to the pram being collapsed down and then opened again. Your dog might be interested in your pram and want to investigate it, or they may be unsure and not want to go anywhere near it. First, set your pram up away from your dog. Once it's up, bring them in and let them investigate and sniff the pram. Reward them for any calm behaviour around the pram. If they try to jump up, calmly encourage them away and then reward them for keeping all four paws on the floor around the pram. Once your dog is comfortable around the pram, you can practice collapsing and opening the pram with them beside you. Reward them for any calm behaviour. Step four, getting them used to being next to the pram. The next thing to look at with the pram is getting your dog comfortable with walking calmly alongside it. If you haven't done loose lead walking with your dog before, take a look at our guide for teaching your dog to walk on a loose lead on the Battersea website. To start this process, you may want to get a family member or a friend to help you so that you're not trying to manoeuvre the pram, control your dog and give rewards all at the same time. Please bear in mind that if you are heavily pregnant, it may be best for your friend to take the dog if they are likely to pull. Ask your friend to stand with the pram while you and your dog stand at a distance. Then ask them to walk with the pram and let your dog watch while you figure out how they feel about it. Reward your dog anytime they look at the pram and stay calm. Gradually move you and your dog closer to the pram until you are able to stand alongside your helper and the pram and your dog stays calm. Next up, you can start to get your dog used to walking alongside the pram. You may want to keep treats in an easily accessible treat pouch. Ask your friend to push the pram forwards while you ask your dog to walk by your side and reward them for calm, loose lead walking. Start by doing short stints in straight lines a few steps at a time and then reward. Make sure that if you all stop moving, you reward your dog alongside the pram so that they learn to stay by your side near the pram. Step five, walking next to the pram. 
Now that your dog can walk on a loose lead and they are comfortable being next to the pram, you can start to walk with the pram and your dog without the help of a friend. First, choose which side you want your dog to walk on. Hold the lead in a hand further away from your dog. This hand will stay on the pram at all times. Hold a treat in the hand closest to your dog. Using the treat, lure your dog to stand next to the stationary pram. You then want to say your chosen cue word to get your dog to come with you. For example, let's go, heel or close and push the pram forward a couple of steps. Reward your dog if they walk next to the pram on a loose lead as you push it. If they pull forwards, stop walking, wait until the lead goes slack, then give the cue word before moving forwards again. Reward them for following on a loose lead. You can then start to gradually increase the number of steps forward that you take before rewarding them. If they pull forwards at any point, try dropping back down to fewer steps before rewarding. The next stage is to add in turns. When turning your pram away from your dog, you may need to lure your dog to speed up or you may find that your dog copes with this well naturally. Turning the pram towards your dog will likely require some practice as you will need your dog to slow down so they don't end up with a paw under the wheel. To do this, as you prepare to turn the pram towards them, have a treat in your hand and hold it just behind your leg that's closest to them so that they hang back as you make the turn. Reward them in this position before moving off. Once you have practiced this, you can start to try walking in a busier area. With more distractions, your dog may find walking on a loose lead more challenging. If this happens, try increasing how often you reward them by delivering a treat for each step forward that you take with a loose lead. That was our guide on preparing your dog for the arrival of a baby, the Battersea Way. For more hints and tips, visit the Battersea website and follow our channels.